What's going on, y'all? It's Everyday Cache, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, typically on this channel, we talk plus size style, fashion, lifestyle. I share my love of sneakers through my content and much more. So if you're into any of that, then you definitely need to go ahead and tap on the subscribe button. In today's video, as you saw by the title, I'm trying on my entire swimsuit collection. Pretty sure that my swimsuit collection was probably roughly around like a couple thousand dollars, um, maybe about five or so. Uh, as a plus size woman, I invest extre like a lot of money into my swimwear because I want it to fit well, I want it to feel good, I want to look bomb in it, and it has to be perfect for every type of swim occasion. So I'm going to try on every piece because it's time to kind of refresh and, and you know, update my summer or swimwear wardrobe. So yeah, if you're ready to see all of the swimsuits and talk about them and hear where I got them from and know where you should purchase yours, then go ahead and keep on watching this video. y'all so before we get started i just wanted to lay down a couple of ground rules okay for this video firstly i am a plus size woman and with that i know many of you if you're plus size you probably know it comes sometimes with some hypersexualization of our bodies and that's not what this video is for i just want to be very clear that i'm simply trying on all of my swimwear because i trust you all just as much as y'all trust me for style advice and i trust y'all to give me your opinions on what i need to get rid of and some things that are still looking fresh that i should keep in my swimwear wardrobe i won't be turning around for this video because the last time I tried to turn around in my little swimwear video, I got demonetized. So we're going to keep it nice and strictly PG-13. You're going to see, obviously, me try them on. But there may be some parts that are blurred because I want to make sure that I protect, obviously, my time and the effort that I put into making this video for you all. Which also brings me to another point. Because this takes a lot of time, effort, and a lot of confidence, I ask that you just be nice um, and be pleasant in the comments. Just, you know, make sure that you're not like, ain't nothing over here for sale, okay? Let me just be real clear. Ain't nothing over here for sale, right? Except for my creativity, but not my body, not what I have on, what I look like in my swimsuits and all of that. So you can pretty much save that for another video or some somebody else, another creator, because I'm not gonna take it down in the comments. Just be nice, be pleasant. I'm real cool, you know what I mean? But we don't have to get too crazy. So yeah, I think that is it. And I'm ready to go ahead and start off with, um, I have 25 swimsuits. I don't know if I shared that, but I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my monokinis or my one pieces so y'all can see exactly what that looks like. I'm gonna go try that on and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So first things first is this uh, monokini by, what was the, the first thing I did was turn around, okay? After I said I won't go turn around, <laughs> I'm sorry. So firstly, this swimsuit is from Forever 21. It is a monokini um, that has a little dip back. If I do turn around, I will try to crop so that y'all can't see, you know, obviously the nether regions. But yeah, it's okay. I don't really love it because it just doesn't do anything for me. It's just plain and that's because the fun is on the back. Let me see if I can. Um, this is the back of it. So you can see, you might be able to see there's like a little palm tree right there detail and it has kind of like the low scooped back so it's just plain here kind of gives this ombre effect which is okay um i know i didn't pay like over 20 bucks for it or maybe 25 dollars it was just a quick pickup from forever 21 last year like the cut um but i know that it's supposed to fit higher up and i think that it would if i had more I had a brush reduction, so I don't fill out my swimsuits and things as I used to. Um, so this is actually supposed to sit a little higher on the hip. And if I had a little bit better of a ratio, I think y'all can kind of like see or tell what it would look like if I was a little slimmer, like right through here. But it just doesn't really serve me all that well. So I don't know, what do y'all think? It's the very first one. I really didn't want to put the first swimsuit on the chopping block, but that's what we're here for, right? Um, so yeah, what do y'all think? Let me know. I actually don't think I've worn this. If No, I did wear this. I wore this in Cabo and I'll try and put a clip right over here. <laughs> so I did wear this one time, but I don't know if I would take it or like wear it again. So let's go ahead and move on to swimsuit number two. 
All right, so swimsuit number two is one of my favorites. I got this from my favorite place to shop, my grandmother's closet. <laughs> this was a swimsuit that she hadn't worn, but that she'd had for years, like literally years. Um, and it is by Catalina. I think we're pretty familiar with Catalina swimsuits. If you're not, they're traditionally at a place where we used to probably purchase all of our swimsuits, Walmart. <laughs> um, so this is a size 3X and it's this pretty and maybe a little more vibrant than what is showing up as on the camera or on TV, on um, your device, whatever you're watching me on. But yeah, I'm not getting rid of this swimsuit. It is a little large like it's just it doesn't do much for me so it's just kind of giving gives me my natural shape but um yeah if i have to go and get this altered or taken in or whatever it's what i'm going to do because this was obviously my late grandmother's and i want to i don't know I, this isn't like something that holds the most sentimental value of the things that she had and passed down to me or that i have of hers but it's one of the things that i'm like okay it's another one of this um monokinis that looks like the other one that i just showed y'all if i have to like get this taken in i was even thinking like something and i hope it doesn't make me look a little more broad but something like that like a little you know like if i took it to the tailor and she could zhuzh it up like i know that that would be kind of cute maybe a little more fun than the traditional wear but yeah i'm not getting rid of it because i see the potential and obviously it's something that holds still a little bit of value to me yeah hun this is swimsuit number two from catalina size 3x probably was a couple dollars maybe like 12.97 y'all know how walmart prices but yeah moving on now to swimsuit number three Hey girl, before we get too deep into it, just wanted to let you know that everything you probably would ask is going to be found down in the description box below. That includes my traditional sizing in addition to any links of the swimsuits that are still available or ones that are similar, um, places where you can shop for swimsuits, everything that you want to know. So go ahead down into the description box, check it out. And if you want to send me some swimwear or you have some, you know, swimsuit ideas or whatever, check the description box. My PO information is in there as well as the comment section that's open and available for you to share any of the things that you wish with me. So I'm going to go ahead and get back into this try on haul, but I just wanted to tap in and say that sis. So you get all of your questions answered from this video go ahead and tap on the like button and subscribe if you haven't already as well let's get it here is suit number three and she's given what do y'all think i like this um i almost thought i was like this kind of gives me a little more age than what i typically like but she really does the trick like right through here i don't know if it's just because it's black or um i'm just gonna turn to the side but like my only so y'all can see my stomach um, and not like my butt, but y'all see how I'm like sticking out there. That's just cause I literally like hold my weight in my stomach. Yeah. I feel like from the front, she definitely does me some justice. I think it's fair to my shape to keep this. It is a halter neck. So you see, I used to have the biggest challenges with halter necks and things that tied around my neck because my breasts were so large but now it's super comfortable as you can see it just kind of you know dips maybe a little lower than what i would prefer like i wish this was a little more like set up a little bit but that's number three she's a keeper um but now we're gonna move on to number four this is the next swimsuit and this one was from shein um i actually tried it on in my shein swimsuit try on haul and I really like this one. She's definitely staying because she's a lot more current in my swimwear wardrobe and definitely something I can see wearing either to the pool um, or out on vacation, like out on a beach. I think something to note about swimwear is that there are some swimsuits that are made for sport and activity. There are others that are made for pool wear and then, or that really like pop for the pool. There are some that wear well for pageantry and you know, like events or bodybuilding competitions and things like that. And then obviously there are some that do really well for the beach. I feel like this is a versatile swimsuit. Um, you can wear it on the beach. You can wear it at the pool. I mean, I obviously probably would not wear this for a, a beauty pageant or a competition, um, but I also wouldn't wear it for sport because it just doesn't, it's not functional enough if you will, to be classified for that. But I do still like it. Like I said, it's still quite current and it fits me really well. Um, you kind of have a little control over how it fits because uh, this obviously you can like tie and I really appreciate that. So this is definitely staying 
in my wardrobe and we're moving on to swimsuit number five okay so here's the thing about this swimsuit before i even turned the camera on i was like oh my god like this is absolutely a no-go um because i've had it for a couple years i've actually had this swimsuit since i uh, went to St. Martin, I think, in like 2016. Yeah, I love it because, I loved it then, because I wore it for, what is it called? Paddling? <laughs> we were like standing up and paddling. I don't know what, paddle boarding, duh. So I wore it for paddle boarding and it was functional. Um, it's very comfortable. She's a, a little snug. But at the time, Monique C, and she's actually back. So if you're not familiar, Monique C is like luxury swimwear for the plus size girls, okay? I'll link some of the swimsuits that obviously about to try on some other swimsuits. She was really popular back in 2016 and this was a style of her swimsuit, something similar. I don't know if it was this exact print, but this print started showing up everywhere. I was like, oh, you know what? I really want to have a swimsuit like that. And I found it actually on another wholesaler website. Instead of buying from her that time, I ended up buying from them and I loved it. So I know I didn't pay more than like 15 or 20 bucks for this, um, but I love it because it's just good for the plus size girls. Like, look at this. It's nice and full coverage, still got a little cutout. The neckline is a lot of fun. It comes up in the back as well. Arguably, I could probably wear it like a little closer up, but I like my little sides to be down because I got a little split row. You see that thing, got a little split row. But the back is super cute. I think it's a keyhole. Yeah, we got a little full coverage back. I don't have it all the way fastened because obviously I had to put it on. But yeah, that goes all the way down. And I just think it's a really cute swimsuit. But I don't know. I feel like it's time to give it away just because this print just kind of ages me a little bit. If this is your like first swimsuit or, you know, like you're not wishing to be super in your swimsuits or super like out there super low waist bikinis or stuff like that you want some more coverage you want something that's a little more functional something you can wear to the pool and then i would say to activities like water activities and this is definitely a swimsuit for you or this style of swimsuit because I, I can almost guarantee it's probably not available but if you find something like this then that's what you should go for so i'm moving on now to i think this would be this is swimsuit number five, so maybe swimsuit number six. All right, this next swimsuit from Boohoo, absolute no-go. We saw in the first two swimsuits some of the challenges with kind of that low back. It just doesn't do anything for me because I'm a little more round right here. So this does have a low scoop back. So I know I'm gonna go ahead and give this one away. Moving on to the next swimsuit, let's get it, girl. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this next swimsuit is um yeah <laughs> it's not working this swimsuit is from icon swim and while i absolutely love this suit and want to keep the suit it just doesn't fit me right now i think y'all can probably oh golly it just doesn't fit me right now i've cropped in because i can't show y'all everything okay so this swimsuit um was on sale i think it was from their collection or their line like last season and I mean, it probably cost me all of maybe like five or seven or 10 bucks, no more than like 10 bucks. So I'm not upset, but this is definitely a gold swimsuit. This is not a swimsuit right now that I would feel confident wearing. I had to do the, the world's most. I mean, obviously there's still some space, but I just, I had to do the most in terms of the little backside, even be able to show you all this much. So, and I can't, I still can't show you everything. So we're gonna keep this until I get down um, a couple more pounds and, yeah all right so i decided to show y'all the back it does offer a thong bottom so i mean it's in there like swimwear <laughs> ah. <laughs> um but yeah this is definitely a gold swimsuit so that i can tighten some things up and it can fit exactly how it's supposed to what is this because oh my god <sighs> oh oh my lord okay so let me tell y'all what we have going on right here a Monique C swimsuit <laughs> that holds you the heck in, but baby, whoo, getting it on. Look at my wig, <laughs> getting it on, sir. Y'all ain't think I was coming like this, did you? And am okay. If you're new to this channel, baby, welcome. All right, cause who are we fooling? Okay, this is a wig. Up under here, I got a whole set of locks that are gonna come out unscathed, undisturbed. I don't know how this wig is looking, so don't mind it, but the focus here, okay, is this swimsuit. Now, ha, let me tell you about this swimsuit. 
Back in the day, right, when I had much larger breasts, I would have a really hard time searching for swimwear, finding swimwear that didn't do as essentially this at the neck and be about ready to like take me up out of here and on the glory. These, the Moni C Swim lines were perfect when I found them. Uh, this swimsuit I think cost me probably a hundred or a little more than a hundred dollars, but I was so used to paying for swimsuits at that cost. I would go to Macy's, I would go to department stores, dealers back when they were a thing, brick and mortars, trying to find swimwear that would work for me. And I often would, I would just have to pay a hundred twenty, a hundred thirty nine, a hundred forty dollars. This swimsuit I absolutely loved because back then, like this whole shape and just the the architecture of the of the suit was just amazing I actually wore this suit I think I was in was that Cancun I think I was in Cancun I wore this suit I was a little more voluptuous um, and you know kind of I was smaller as well this suit still fits phenomenally like the day that I first got it don't get me wrong I absolutely love this I feel good about the full coverage but so um, this is the back of the suit Remember, I don't have my wig all the way on, but it comes up on the back, which is nice and good. It's it's so like, it's so snug, but not uncomfortably snug. Very much wear this in Greece. Very much wear this, ah, just wear this at a time where you just feel, you know, you're just giving very much sophistication in your swim. I forgot that this piece existed. And so when I went to go put it on, yeah. <laughs> I got a little tossed up, okay, that, that, that we got, you know, shifted a little bit, okay? Um, but yeah, this is a really cute suit. I don't think I'm going to keep it just because the style is such a such a unique one that is hard to wear over and over again at the time it worked for me but now I can find swimsuits that are a lot cheaper even if I had larger boobs I feel like our style of swim these days is just to kind of let a little more flow and hang now don't get me wrong there are a lot of women a lot of plus size women who are just throwing anything on and that's their prerogative. That's not how I like to wear. I like my stuff to be well fitted and tailored and fit for me. So I try to get the best fit out of things. But our swim direction in terms of what's trending is definitely let it hang. Not for, not, I, that's their prerogative. Over here, me and mine, okay, we like to be kind of tucked in in the places where I feel most confident when they are in. So this swimsuit definitely does that. And if you are looking for a swimsuit that does that, I would recommend that you go to MonifeC.com um, and find you a swimsuit, sis, because she is definitely giving goddess. She's giving rich B energy. She's definitely giving RBE in swim, okay? Something just really nice for... Um, uh, a, a beautiful and relaxing maybe a honeymoon vacation this would be perfect for the brides honey but for me I just don't really find the use for it anymore so moving on to the next and final one piece swimsuit let's get it <laughs> I thought I was gonna give this swimsuit away because I thought that it had run its course and then I put it on and I see that she's not <laughs> She's not finished. She's not done giving what she could give. Let me tell y'all the story. So as I mentioned, um, I think earlier in the video, in 2015, 16 was Cancun, 17 was St. Martin, 18, or was 16? I don't remember. Anyway, long story short, Shay took it by storm, okay? And this suit, just the my shape in this suit, and I'm not even trying right now, and I mean, you don't really have to do much. I think it's just this caged center, which is really cute. Yeah, it just does, it, it does well for, and it's a one piece and it's nice and firm and, and I, can you tell I like it? Can you tell, can you tell I like it? So um, yeah, this swimsuit is super cute. It's from Forever 21. I think it fits really well. It's not your, like the ultimate or the best fitting swimsuit. As you can see, it has these three strap or four, four straps and it goes into one. Um, on the back side, it does okay, but it's not like, 
the end all be all of swimsuits or monokinis, but this is still a really nice structure. And I like this, this detail in here and the detail on the sleeves. I like that it comes with a black trim around the panty line. It's a really nice swimsuit. And I probably only spent about $25 for it. So like $24.90 or something like that. But would I buy a swimsuit like this again? Absolutely. It comes up on the back, gets straight across. So I don't have to worry about too much of my rolls hanging out. Um, the front is a really cute detail without making me feel large. It definitely flatters my largest area um the sleeving is just really nice i just I, you know this is a great suit like it there's no there's no other way to put it so i think i'm gonna keep it even though i said i was going to give it away which does not help my growing swimsuit collection but here here so that is the end of all of my one piece suits and um i'm gonna just kind of recap all of the one pieces that i'm gonna give away so hang tight i'll be right back all right y'all so we are done with our one pieces and these are the swimsuits that i'm keeping the yellow the black the multicolor, the darker green and this orange and black um animal print one and then these are those that i'm giving away well not giving away but that i'm getting rid of so all of those are going to be um yeah those are going to be discarded or like done for honey they're out okay out of my swimsuit collection so now moving on to two pieces let's go